That's a nice one. Oh, I thought that was straight rocks. Thanks, brother. That's a nice pro. That is a gorgeous one. I'm not gonna talk bad about the dike anymore. Welcome to the channel, everyone. For those of you that are new, welcome to MDLR Fishing. Today, we're at the Texas City Dike. At the very end of it, there is a channel and a drop-off that runs alongside it. Why not give this a shot? It was a throwaway day because the weather is uh, pretty bad right now. The winds are super high. And I was like, uh, did not want to stay indoors. So why not come out here? give it a try normally I'm not gonna fish this area but I do know that it holds fish and you can get lucky and catch some really nice fish at that that trout just proves it when your heart is on the run yeah, yeah, yeah. I will never see the sun Here we are, y'all. That's a nice one. Oh, I thought that was straight rocks. <laughs> That's a nice one. Bro, I thought I got hit too. Earlier, then I was like, I cast right back. Thanks, brother. And yeah, look at that, right on the top of the mouth. That's a nice trout. That is a gorgeous one. Well, that makes the trip, the trip worth it, right? Yeah. I'm not gonna talk bad about the dike anymore. But I know like when the trout are running, this would be a good spot right here because that drop is literally right there. That's a gorgeous one. Why you couldn't, because if you park right there, you know, the rod, you're gonna do... I'm going to just go ahead and oh, okay. uh, throw her back. You got it on the video? Yeah, no, I already got her. That is a tank. <clears throat> yeah, I, I got tagged already uh, once before but missed the hook set. And so I cast right back and I got snagged. Are you ready to drop all the way down? About uh, four to five, one thousand count. And then just slowly retrieving it back in. So I, I don't know why. You just put lights out here. Yeah. So if you park right there beside your little building, run your extension cord out, you can just leave your generator up there. Mm -hmm. And put your lights on the end of the rocks here. Heck, I would just bring it to the rocks. Well, yeah, if you backed up right there and ran your generator yeah. there, I mean, ran your port there. Yeah. It's a nice moderate retrieve. I mean, not going fast at all. This is a high gear ratio reel. It is, I don't know if it's going to say, but I, I want to say it was, uh, what is that? 8.3 to 1. All these dolphins are out here, probably feeding on the darn trout that's feeding on the shad that's getting washed in with the tide. All right, brother. All right, man. We'll see you later, man. It's good to, good oh, to yeah. come out. Good, good to let you see me catch a, see fish. You catch a fish. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't care who catches it. That was a nice shot. I mean, it's better yeah. caught Oh my gosh, literally right up on the rocks, y'all. That is the biggest trout I have ever seen come up and do something like that. Cruising the rocks. I saw the birds work and so I was like, hey, let's just pull over really quick. That is a big fat mama. Oh my gosh, look, oh my gosh.
Holy cow. All right, yeah, there ain't gonna be no swinging her up. She's just way too heavy, super fat, no net. I think I have the measure inside my bag though. Oh my gosh. This is something else, y'all. <clears throat> okay, got you. Yeah, she wasn't gonna come off. Look at how fat. Oh my gosh, my hands are shaking. She is a fatty. Wow. I'm not gonna measure her. I'm just gonna get her right back inside that water. That super shad from Hoagie's putting a killing on these big fat trout. Gosh dang. That's about 26, 27 inches, something like that. We'll see you later, girl. <clears throat> Holy cow. Just swimming it right alongside these rocks. Oh, <laughs> wow. A throwaway day. Tim, brother, I wish you could have saw the birds diving down over here. Oh my gosh. That one was a lot bigger than that first one. I'm gonna keep casting. Let's uh, quickly talk about the setup that we've got. It's a seven foot, six inch long buoyancy rod from Old 18 Outfitters. Medium light power, a Luze Pro SP bait caster. And we've got 20 pound braid with a 20 pound monofilament leader now because the fluorocarbon, well, we kind of lost that one. A lot of rocks to fish out here. The dike is four miles long. So tons of rocks to be able to fish and being that it's not packed at all, well, we can just stop ever so often until we hit the end of it, at which point we'll just end our day. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Let's hope that there's another big girl patrolling against these rocks and just cruising, waiting for somebody to slip up. And hopefully she sees my lure. We've made it to the end. Yeah, it's, uh, this is it. Holy cow. Yeah, we're gonna have to watch ourselves. That wind really, really picked up. There we are. There we go. Finally. Yeah, baby. There's the bite. Well, she took some drag too. Boy, she's, yeah, she's taking that drag. I just cannot pull her up. That's gotta be a red. No, that's a big old huge trout. She is a fatty too, y'all. Oh my gosh. Let's be careful. Oh, I can't even get my hand around her. Yeah, she is a fatty, y'all. I mean, oh my gosh. Look at that. That <sighs> catching gators out here at the Texas City Dyke. This hoagies, man. Y'all have never tried one before? I definitely recommend y'all giving them a try. I think this one's called the Super Shad. Again, I'm not too sure. 
uh, super swimming shad or it's the super shad something like that I think it's like a five incher but gosh darn this girl look at that she's bigger than the other one definitely gave a whole heck of a lot better fight oh man we'll see you later girl Texas City Dyke does it. This has been like one of the most memorable days that I'm, I've ever had out here because usually it doesn't treat me too well, but uh, just enjoying myself. Let's see if we can catch another. Another one. Boy, that thump. When they hit it, these big girls just come to the top, open mouth, shaking that head. Today is just all about taking what Mother Nature will give us. And these girls, they are in the worst of all this stuff. Doesn't feel like it's bigger than the others, but still a good keeper. Look at that. Holy moly. Boy, when they hit it, do they hit it hard. That's still a respectable speckled trout right there. A good 18 incher. All right, girl, let it go. There we are. Yeah, nice 17, 18, somewhere like that. We're at the top of high tide right now too, so that could be what's turning on the bite. The water's clearer over here. Woo, 14.97 knots. It's almost 15 knots right there. Yeah, that wind fills every bit of it. A lot of y'all asked, what app do I use? It's not, it's the uh, NOAA website. It lets you check the buoys in and around your area. Just find the closest one and it'll give you real-time data as far as what's going on out here water temperature the tide the wind the air pressure I think we're gonna wrap this one up let's hurry up and get out of this wind it has chilled me to the core yeah that's it we're done I'm not gonna be greedy oh my Gosh, wow. I've got to take a look at the conditions right now, see what that wind is coming in at. I don't know if it's slowed down. It doesn't seem like it showed any signs of letting up. Oh, okay, okay. Let's get this out the way. like a beat down old man <laughs> what a day y'all that was absolutely spectacular if you're curious about any of the uh, gear that I was using today that's gonna all be linked in my video description down below the rods from old 18 outfitters I have a 20% off discount code check that out if you're interested in purchasing one of them yeah, the winds did not show any like any let, let up or anything like that. 14.58 knots. That is very windy. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, give me that thumbs up, please. For those of you not subscribed to the channel and you want to see more, click that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell icon and all that stuff. And uh, that's going to do it for this one. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.